Exercise 41, question number three. This is an interesting one to look at because uh, R appears more than once and you've also got a term underneath in the right hand side. So we need to play around with that to get R on its own and also maybe think about getting it in the form that's on in the solution in the textbook. So let's have a go. So the first thing to do is to, I would suggest multiply both sides by this whole term, three plus R. So again, all the way through, if you want to pause it, you can uh, then carry on and see if you can finish the problem off. So multiply both sides by 3 plus r. You get x plus y times 3 plus r equals r. It's important to put a bracket around the x plus y because you're multiplying that whole term, x plus y, by that whole term, 3 plus r. So now... We need to multiply out those brackets, expand the brackets, multiplying every term in one by every term in the other. So, see if you can carry on from there. So I'd get 3x plus xr plus 3y plus yr equals r. Multiplying every term in one by every term in the other. x times y to get 3x, x times r, xr, y times 3, and y times r. So now we want to get all the terms involving r on one side, the left-hand side, and all the terms that don't involve r on the other side, on the right-hand side, by just adding and subtracting. So I'm going to get xr, plus y r minus r equals um, minus 3x minus 3y. So what I've done is I've subtracted r from both sides to get r over here to minus r and then I've taken the 3x to the right hand side by subtracting it from both sides so minus 3x from both sides, minus 3y from both sides, and you get that. So now, um, we can actually, at this point, I could factorise, take the r outside the bracket, but I know that the fact that I've got a minus sign here and a minus sign here it's going to be a problem. And I'm tempted to get rid of that now by multiplying, and I've done this in a similar question, multiplying both sides by minus 1, which is a common thing to do to change, that effectively changes the sign of all the terms. So, if I do that, instead of xr, I'm going to get minus xr, minus yr, plus r, equals 3x plus 3y. So that now at least makes the right-hand side positive. And now when I factorise, take r outside the bracket, in other words, on the left-hand side, I'll be left with, well, looking at this term, putting the positive term first, what do I multiply r by to get back to r? So that's just 1. And then looking at this term, what do I multiply um, r by to get minus x r minus x and minus y for that one. So that would be 1 minus x minus y equals 3x plus 3y. Now I'm going to divide both sides by that term in the bracket on the left hand side. So r equals 3x plus 3y over 1 minus x minus y. And finally, I could factorise the top, take a 3 outside the bracket, leaving x plus y inside, and then 1 minus x minus y underneath, which I guess is the answer in the text.